Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a kill switch to your PWM or speed controller used for your trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the kill switch I'm going to be using in this project. It's a Sea Dog Universal kill switch right here. Got it off Amazon. And it's going to have two sets of markings opposite each other. You're going to have an M and an I. And the M is for a magneto and the I is for ignition. And I'm going to use the I settings. And how I could tell that I'm using the same ones on this is that for the I's, there's little indentations on here that you can match up so you know you're using the right one. There, that's better look right there. This is the PWM I'm going to be using in this project. Now, if you want to know how to build one, if you go to my YouTube channel under the PWM playlist, you'll see several tutorials there that you can reference. But for this project, I'm just going to be using, this is a simple PWM that you can get off Amazon or eBay. And it has the on-off speed control switch along with the directional switch. This is an internal view of the PWM and the two spots where I'm going to interrupt with the kill switch is going to be the backside here of this directional switch and the backside here of the on off speed control switch. Okay, the next thing I did was I drilled a hole in this top of the PWM box so I could fit the kill switch in and this is what it looks like Okay, so I have everything wired up. I have my negative from the directional switch hooked up to the kill switch and if you look to the right down here I've got my trolling motor set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it and then I'll pull the key and you'll see it cut off. And there it is, it works just fine. I just wanted to go over another option you have if you don't wanna use a directional switch. You can put the kill switch in between the positive and negative that powers the on-off switch of this style of PWM. And if you trace it back, you'll see that you have your positive and negative to this plug-in at the PC board. So you could put the kill switch in between either one of these wires and get the same effect. So I'll just turn it on and unplug that just to show you. Controlling motor's running, pull that switch, and it also kills it. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.